One of the reasons that I love being a toolmaker is the connections that we make, the, the human connections, the interactions, the interesting people I get to meet who buy and use my tools to make beautiful and useful things. This morning we've got a special guest in the shop, a uh, local gentleman who makes and sells lots of spoons. So let's take a look at what all he does. Good morning. Today I've got a guest in the shop with me. This is a uh, friend, one of my customers, uh, Mr. Sam Tallman, spoon carver from down near Hickory, North Carolina. Hello, Sam. How are you? Jason, just fine. How are Thanks you? Thanks for coming out to the shop today. It's been fascinating talking with you this morning and looking at tools and spoons. So uh, tell us just a little about yourself. What got you into spoon carving? Well, I was a mechanical engineer for 25 years and um, after 25 years it was determined that my job was no longer necessary. So um, rather than moping around in my, my workshop, my wife finally said, why don't you make something people can buy and use? So I started doing research and um, discovered spoon making. And I also discovered an important thing that I didn't need a lot of capital. Right. I didn't need the big That's machines. right. You don't don't need the thousand dollar table saw and don't the need huge a huge band saw and all the expensive machinery. No, I've got an eight by twelve workshop that I could do everything out of it. So my outlay wasn't that much. It was just a matter of training my hands. Just a matter of, of going to YouTube University, talking to people on social media, examples. Um, and just started carving, and and the first after the first farmers market, people bought them. So I decided, you know, let's make spoons. So um, well, that's great. Do you have some spoons that you've made that I've you got, can show us? I've got let's, some. Let's I've got make. some. Uh, this is my my main cooking spoon. This is my my biggest seller. I usually do these. These are for sauteing and for. Um, getting into corners. I like the point on the on the spoon. Yeah, that gets into the corners well. That sells a lot. A lot of people that that do cast iron like them because they get into the corners and everything. And because the fibers are right here, it's going to be really strong. They they last a long time. I mean, you can scrape a cast iron really bad with that. Um, the other style is more of a soft spoon that I have. Um, people use that. And then I've got these longer, longer like round. Um, oh, that looks those, really nice. That's a, that's a nice form. Those are my biggest sellers. Cook spoons seem to sell better than anything because um, more people are familiar with cooking with wooden spoons, at least around here, than eating with wooden spoons. Sure. Sometimes, sometimes I got to convince people. Yeah, it takes some convincing. <laughs> but uh, here's here's yeah. what I like to tell them is that you'll yeah. never you'll never burn your tongue on a wooden spoon eating hot soup. That's right. That's right. Not only that, but you can always eat ice cream with it and nobody will know because it doesn't clank inside the bowl. That's right. So, That's right. So these are little eating spoons I make. So this is a cherry one I made and this is a little maple one. But, that but is some nice are, work, Sam. That's on, that's on the other side. Well, very good. Well, it's been great chatting with you and looking over your work, and it's, it's wonderful to hear about people that are making useful things with their hands and selling them and, and being enjoyed by their folks. So thanks again for coming out. Thank Take you, care. You can find more of Sam's Spoons on Instagram at Sam's underscore Spoons. Thanks for watching.